switch gears for a moment. I'm still following the developing story regarding uh, the vice president who is en route uh, to Guatemala. It seems as if there was an issue uh, with her airplane. Everybody, uh, it seems, is safe and, and it's nothing to worry about. But, but bring us up to date as to what we know. A mechanical problem with Air Force to force them to return and land at Joint Base Andrews just moments ago, Yasmin. She had taken off with the traveling pool of reporters that's accompanying her on this trip to Guatemala and Mexico about 30, 35 minutes ago on schedule. And then they were advised mid-flight they needed to turn around because there was something that obviously caused the crew and the pilots to be concerned enough to say we should head back to JVA and switch to another aircraft entirely. So they did land without incident. Everybody is okay. The spokeswoman aboard Air Force Two said there's no concern in terms of safety, but that they did want to make sure that they had the best aircraft for this international travel. So they're going to take a little bit of time, get on a whole new plane, and then take off again for Guatemala, where the vice president will be spending most of tomorrow before she heads to Mexico City Monday evening, where she will spend most of Tuesday, and where I will be traveling and covering her travels as her first foreign trip kicks off just before the president's own travels, of course, to the UK, Belgium, and Switzerland. Yes, yeah, Hey, Monica, before I let you go, I just want you to bring us up to date. I know you just laid out some of what the trip is going to look like for the vice president. You mentioned, obviously, this is her first foreign trip abroad as as vice president, the vice president has a lot on her on her plate, uh, to say the least, leading, uh, of course, the Biden administration's push on immigration, their plans moving forward. What does uh, the vice president hope to achieve in Guatemala? She has specifically been tasked with being the diplomatic liaison between the United States and the Northern Triangle country. So Guatemala, of course, one of them, in addition to El Salvador and Honduras. She won't be traveling to those two countries, but after she's in Guatemala meeting with the president there, she will also come to Mexico to visit with the president and have a couple of roundtables and discussions specifically around the root causes of migration, which ironically is something that then Vice President Joe Biden was also put in charge of when he was in office, of course, by then President Obama. So this is something that the vice president, as you mentioned, is just a part of her portfolio. They're hoping that with this trip, they can make some inroads and demonstrate how she can really handle herself on the world stage, since this is someone who, of course, as a former senator and prosecutor, doesn't have that much experience with foreign policy. This will be her first major foray into that. So they want this trip to be a starting point. I'm told by aides, by no means do they feel that everything is going to be accomplished because an issue like this is certainly not going to be solved in one American presidency, let alone in in the next four to eight years. This is a problem that has so many issues and is rooted across so many different spheres that it could probably take decades. But this is something that you're right, the president has put on her plate yeah. in addition to voting rights and expanding broadband access. So she has a lot to work on over this summer, obviously, Yasmin. Yeah, so as you were just speaking, Monica, we saw the vice president exiting uh, her plane as she was gonna be switching planes there and continuing her trip uh, to Guatemala. The press was asking, as she exited her plane, she gave her signature smile and what she always does and saying she was she was okay. She gave her thumbs up saying everything uh, was okay. She repeatedly said that before she proceeded um, into those doors and, and waiting for her plane to arrive so she can uh, get back on, reboard along with everybody else and continue on her trip uh, to Guatemala. But as we can see, everybody, it seems, is safe and sound. But I'm sure a little bit of a nervous moment on that plane as they told them they had to turn around head back, switch planes in order to continue their trip, as it always is, even with some technical difficulties, despite everybody being okay. So Monica Alba, thanks for sticking with us with that, uh, bringing us up to date on everything that's going on. Appreciate it.